back to just between us, your most trusted news source. <laughs> This week, we're going to be talking about the benefits of private versus public romantic relationships. Yes. Originally, I had pitched the idea of just talking about Taylor Swift and that football guy, but Gabe said we should open it up. <laughs> What's that football guy's name? Taylor Ketchy? Casey? Kessie? You think his name is also Taylor? Oh, it's not. What is it? You think his name is, <laughs> you think he <laughs> plays football and his name is Taylor Ketchy? Like, Travis, Travis, <laughs> is it Travis? Yeah, Travis Ketchy. Tra How do you Kelsey? So Kelsey? Kelsey. Okay. I was gonna say that's so interesting that he chose to play football with the last name Ketchy. I guess he didn't really have a lot of choices. And he does catch the ball, right? What does a tight end do? Yeah, he's a tight end. He's he's helping make sure that the quarterback doesn't get sacked. Oh, boring. Oh my god. <laughs> well, so then I was saying, well, it's interesting because her relationship before was very private. Mm -hmm. and then before that, it was more public. And then this one, very public. Very, very public from the get-go. From the jump. Which... Almost conspiratorially so. Almost. No, I don't believe it. I think it's real. No, I do think it's real, but they're both making bank off of it. Why not? I know. That's what you should do. So this is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. So, so would it behoove, I think this all the time, it would so behoove one of us to be with someone so famous. Oh, but I what even you, thought about but that. But we both are with civilians right now. Like people who are not like internet famous people. Like John's in the industry, but he's not like. You can't just refer to our partners as civilians. <laughs> they're not We're celebs. not in the army. <laughs> yeah, but they're not like, they're not like celebs. They don't have like followings. Okay. I mean, my partner, my husband is in the industry. He's a writer. I know, but he's not like, he has like two followers. <laughs> what? Well, I'm out of the game. So you're the one that's going to have to date a celebrity. Oh, I know. What's great is you got to pick someone who's in a completely different industry than you. So she couldn't date another musician. No. She, you have to, like NFL, perfect. Great choice. Great choice. Although the NFL is terrible. Oh, like, like ethically? Well, they're all getting concussions. I know. They shouldn't allow football. Yeah. People are really getting hurt. I wouldn't let my kid play football. No, me neither. Absolutely no. not. No. You can't now, do hockey, puck right to the head. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think that if you're having fun, that's the benefit, right? You're having fun. You're excited. You're showing them off. You, you're very, very public. Let's just say not even celebs. You're just like being very public about it. Um, from the jump, I'm sort of like, yeah, you're in a little like honeymoon period. You want to be like, you know, showing it off. But then when you break up, then people are going to have questions. Yeah. It's hard, right? We've talked about this before. It's like, do you owe them answers? And it's like, no, but I want them. Yeah. I saw a very funny tweet, though, that was like, what if it wasn't that the person was love bombing you at the beginning? It was just that as they got to know you, they liked you less. That's my fear. <laughs> That is my actual fear. So you went from having like a very public relationship. Extremely public relationship with another known person. And and do you feel like that made you not want to do it again? Or was it like, eh, it's worth it? Like if you started dating someone super famous right now, you would be public about it. Definitely. But has that worked out for me in the past? No. But have I learned? Absolutely not. Now my boyfriend's a software engineer. He's like not a public facing person. I just think he's so handsome that I show that I want people to see it. We're not like posting about each other all the time, making TikToks together, like doing, we're not, you know, he's not becoming the co-host of my show. Like we're not doing what, what was happening with this other person. Um, oh my God. I forgot that they became the co-host of your show. Yeah. That's wild. I think it's very appealing to be in sort of a power couple, mm -hmm. but I think it's nice right now to be in a, in a power couple that is, he's very good at his job, but his job doesn't require him to be famous. Yeah. Like he's exceptionally good. I mean, he's going to be like, not really, blah, blah, blah. But he's very good and he's in a successful career. Um, but he's not trying to like get as the face of anything other than maybe for celiac disease. Which he, <laughs> he, if anyone out there wants to ha commiserate, he is down. I do think, though, that, like, there is now this suspicion that, like, if celebrities are super public from the jump, that it's fake, that it's, like, a PR relationship. And it could be, but I also think there is benefit to it. Like, definitely when Mal and I started dating, I think we were both, like, oh, this is fun. Yeah. To, like, you know, have people speculating and whatever. Tap into each other's Tap into each other's fan bases. bases. Yeah. yeah. 
but you're underestimating how much people get into relationships and then just act a fool. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, are they PR? And it's like, yeah, maybe. But also you're telling me like, if your boyfriend was in the NFL, you wouldn't just like start wearing his jersey and going to all his games? Of course you would. And I think that it's also kind of like that, that like, that pendulum reaction of like going with someone who was so private to then going to be with someone who already had a podcast, was a public figure, yep. had done a reality a TV show, yeah. like is down to be public. It's like maybe feels like freeing. Like I wonder if yeah. she would have been this public if if she hadn't just come off of such a private thing. Of course. And also like, you know, I think there's something – you know, something to be said about someone who is like a big fan of you and like celebrates you and like, and like, is like, you know, I, I love everything that you do and you, and, and I don't know, like cheering you on publicly in a way, I feel like the other guy just would kind of be like, I don't want to answer any questions. And I'd be like, do you even like her? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. If you're going to date the most famous pop star and then act put upon on your scholarly acting, when someone asks you about dating her, if you're that concerned about it, date another like, like, like actress, date Rooney Mara. You know what I mean? Like right. date an actress who's austere as well. Otherwise, go home. I know. It's like, it's that thing of like, do you like their life or are you tolerating their life? And fuck you if you're tolerating. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? I sent you that thing that was like a podcast that Jamie Lee was on where it was like, thinking about your partner, would you... It was like, if your kid was dating someone like your partner, would you be happy? And if someone came to you and said, wow, you're very similar to your partner, would you be happy? Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa. I know. Those are really good tests. Really good tests. So I was like, okay, interesting. And not to be like, you should be with someone who's hyping you up, but I think you should. I think it's what I notice about couples is like, if you're talking to them and someone and the other person is like, oh my God, like Joe just got a raise. Like, it's amazing. Like he got promoted, you know, or like, I try to be very conscious of like doing that. Yeah. Right? Like even, um, you know, saying that this person did this cool thing or being like, I, I love, like, that's so creative. I love that you did that. Or just, or, or even like talking about how Alex makes shirts, you know, I'm like, yeah. he's so like funny. You want someone that brags about you. Yeah. Brags about or, you. Or like thinks that you're the coolest. <laughs> Yeah. And know? like wants to tell other people. I hate when it's like a couple who like the the girl like does something and the guy is like, oh, sorry, she always does this. I'm like, shut up. Like what kind of thing? Like, I don't know. Just like, just like if, if she like lost her, her keys or something and he's like, yeah, she wouldn't, she wouldn't have her head screwed on if it wasn't, you know, she couldn't find her head if it wasn't screwed on. It's like, don't say bad shit about her. But I do think that, like, in terms of, like, how much you share publicly, yeah, like, it, it is helpful to learn from your mistakes. And, like, you know, like, if you're someone... What are someone you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, if you were someone who, like, got in a relationship, posted them all over your feed, like, dated them for six months, and then when you broke up, you, like, had to go back and, like, remove them all from your Again, feed. Again, what are you trying to say? <laughs> I was dating someone. I was not public with him at all, at really. And then, um, and then I was like, "Yeah, I'm never doing that again." And never then I doing got what again? Posting and being so public. But then I got love bombed by this second person. And then I was like, "Never mind, bitch." <laughs> <laughs>